Alrighty, everybody, welcome to the stream. Um, hope everybody's having a great day. We are on a new map here today. We're on Stitcher, Wisconsin. It's a Patreon map. Not sure if I'm going to be doing a series on it or not. But, I'm really liking how this map is, so... You know, I might turn it into a series. I'm not really sure what how he wants people to go about doing um, YouTube videos since it is a Patreon map. And it's currently private. So I know DR didn't care, but I'm not sure since this is MRG's map. Also, if you want this map, it's on Patreon for MRG mapping. It's um, in testing for all of his beta testers. But we got our harvesting set up here. We're going to harvest some soybeans today. Um... First stream in a while, so definitely gonna probably have some stuff we're gonna we gotta fix, but get through all that. Um, we got a 25 foot John Deere soybean head in here, and then we got a seven or S 9750 STS, so pretty old setup here, fairly old, not super old, but fairly old. We'll get in the combine and we'll um get a worker. I should play with William Farms. Yeah, I was watching him the other night. He is... I really like how he do, goes about things. It's pretty cool, dude. Let's see if we can't... There we go. We got follow me on there. We're gonna bring this down to our field. This is just a... This is not our farm there. That's just the one barn we own in town. As of right now. Let's see if Buddy can make it out. <laughs> Struggling for a minute. That's Buck's new um, square body series. I don't think this map has any sort of traffic on it yet. You were on last night's stream? I've probably seen you. If you were talking in it. I had a lot of stuff going on though when I was watching it, so. Got distracted through a lot of it. I did have it on most of the time. I think the setup's pretty good. Get the old STS, the new version. This is a dealership right here in town. One thing that definitely needs to be changed on this map is the roads. The roads, I hate the roads. The roads do not look realistic at all. My farm on here, um, I don't have everything for it yet. I'm still actually buying equipment. I'm probably going to have to cheat in a little bit more money. Yeah, there's not much detail in the town of Stitzer yet. Hopefully, it adds more detail. But it, it, I do like the map. Like, everything else on it, like the farms and stuff, are amazing. And Merry Christmas to you, too, Simulation Station. Uh, it's Stitzer, Wisconsin. Thank you for stopping in. Yeah, I remember, talk, I remember him talking about that in the stream. I usually, I try to, I, I try to tune in on most of the streams he does. Yeah, MRG, I think, honestly, I, I just like the terrain and stuff, like the farms on it look beautiful. Can't wait, for, wait, can't wait until he gets most of them, like, functioning. I mean, you can technically make some of them functioning, just by using, like, the open pastures and stuff. You want the PDA? Show the PDA. I'll probably I'll probably do a map tour. This is what the PDA looks like. All right, we'll see you later, um, Challenger boy. Thank you for stopping. But this is the PDA. Uh, we own this farm down here. I'll give you a little tour of it. This is the farm we own. You get up in the area. It the the picture or the um, thumbnail of the stream is the farm from like right here it was like a picture i took a couple days ago it was when this corn was still here 
But I chopped it for silos the other day, so it's not there anymore. Got all this. Um, changed this stave silo that was here that was non working and turned it into a real stave silo. My first generation series? No, I I'm planning to revamp that series. I, I didn't like how it was going at the start, and I think I'm just going to do a single player series of that because the way we had our multiplayer set up, it was not working. You love my videos. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Try to put out quality content. But, yeah, one thing, I, the only thing I wish you could do with this farm is get rid of, like, some of the barns like this one. I just don't, this is the only barn I don't like on this farm. It's just this one. But, still using it. Got our silage chopper in here. Got the 890. And then we got an ag bag over here. Didn't use the silage pad because I didn't really want to use it. Um, got our, we also got some more in here. Not much more, but some. And then, this is our feed wagon set up. Got the old, old, old gal feed wagon. Yeah, the farm does look good. How's it going, farmer boy? And then, our slurry set up. This is... This is what I like most. Got the old hool. 3150 here. I think it works perfect. Now, if I'm not mistaken, I think this is where the slurry should... This is where the slurry should come up at, but I don't know if there's a point there or not. You know, I was go I was thinking about going in on GE and just removing it, but with like the um hide the thing, I was trying to do it with the mod that does this, like the map object hider, and I tried moving, removing every single piece off of it, and there were still pieces I couldn't like get to, so I just had to deal with it for now. Whoops. There we go. Destroy. But then you can see here, this is the stuff I removed from before. In the safe saddle that was there. No, I wasn't planning on this being my um, slurry spreader. I just had it on it to move it out of the way. Because I think this, the tractor I plan on doing it with is probably going to be this one. The 7130 Magnum. But this is all the stuff we have here. Not, not everything is here yet. I still need to buy some more stuff. Got a disc. That is the older 630. Um, we got a 12 row here. And this is our only, one and only silage wagon. The AM and PM, I want to say is a part of the additional game settings mod. I think it is. Yeah, it's a part. Yeah, it's part of the additional game settings mod. You got to go down to 24 hour clock and turn it off. But the only two fields we actually own right now, I think, is field 38 and 37. Everything else we rent. So all this land right here, we rent. This is also role play. We're being realistic. Okay, this is not my truck. My truck is um this one. Or acting like that is the uh, boss's truck, I guess you could say. But we got to open up this field here so we can get the other stuff on down here. Nope, I just realized that there's still somebody inside there. Control F. There we go. Let me turn off super speed so I am not flying all over the place. Jeez. Now it's background up here. Yeah, but honestly, I, I really like how this map is going for MRG. Like the... I don't know. I don't know if it's a DEM or if he like did all the train. I assume it's a DEM, obviously. Just because of how the train is done, but. I don't know. I like it a lot. Drop it down here. There we go. Alright, got it fired up here. Try and hurry up so we can get um, all the other stuff in the field here and not have it all out on the road. It's not one of those maps with the soybean straw. It isn't. Alright, that's great. Yeah, the farms do look really nice. It's, um, it's an easy trail. Um, I believe it's made by JCL. 
If you go to his HIO, it should be on there. I really like the um, easy trail. I either use that most of the time or the Demkos by custom. Try and get a couple of strips in here. We did finish up corn harvest. I did do some corn harvest yesterday. It was actually just silage corn that was left over. Um, put on a sell everything sell point and sold it. Didn't really get much from it, but it's more than would have got if I just cultivated it, obviously. So. Background up here. Probably do one more pass in here. Just to make it. Just to get a little bit more room. Might as well get the most room we can get. For the time being. Not sure how much we're going to be taking up here. There we go. Sorry about that. I do need to get some music up in the background here. My shader settings. Um, I'm not sure if I'm really willing to release them at the moment. Where did I get a semi for the farm? No, I, I was thinking about getting one though. I think I need to get I need to get one to haul milk. If there's a milk point, I'm not sure. I know it says you can, the milk will fill up, but still need to figure that out. Yeah, I do have the wagons. But I might need a semi for hauling. Like, um, might, need, might get like a C, not a C30. What is it? I literally just go to it and look at it. C70, that's what it was. Get a C70 with a little milk thing on the back. Yeah, I was hauling corn with this Magnum going up the hill past his farm. And I, I swear I was about to start power hopping and just like Grant did on that, his um, real life farm. I was going like four mile an hour trying to haul corn up the hill. I definitely need to get put a tune on this because this is not going to last these Wisconsin hills. All right, we got someone in there. I'm just going to drive the boxcar because I like the boxcar. All right, come on now. Stop doing goofy stuff. Oh, God. What did you do? I have no idea what the heck just happened there. That was some wonky stuff. What's up, farm bros? How's it going? Yeah, I don't even know what the heck that was all about. Looks like my stream latency today is pretty fast. This which is good, I guess. I need to get a mower so I can mow all this grass and bale it pull out. We ain't got nobody coming. This is the hill I'm talking about here. This thing is a pain to get up. I'm having troubles with that. I don't, I don't even have anything in this green car here. Come on now. You got it. I'm Phil. Yeah, we alright. We got enough horses to get up the hill now. How's it going, Braden? See what's on sale here. Three dollars in fuel costs. Isn't that a shame? Here we go. It's gonna put my farm in debt, not the three dollars. Alright, alright, yeah, let's take a right up here on the road. This is the only soybean field we have ready at the moment. 
No, the hill is not even that big. I mean, compared to some hills, it's just so steep right off the bat that the tractors have trouble getting up a bit. It doesn't help that they're both like 200 horsepower tractors pulling some of the larger. This is 170 horse. Um, Magnum's 221. Let's pull forward here. We'll just leave it like right here for now, along with the gravity wagon. And we're gonna get the combine and we're gonna start harvesting this field. As far as I'm aware, I think this is a fairly large field, yeah. It's a 30 acre field, so I don't even know if we're gonna get this done on um this stream. Yeah, it is sister. Yeah, four mile per hour combine sounds about right. If you're using like um, JCL's headers and stuff, it'll make you go four mile per hour, which is kind of annoying, but I mean, it's realistic. Four, going four mile per hour is a lot more realistic than I'm going like six, because you're not going to go six mile per hour in real life. That's just way too fast. You're not getting to the shit and stuff fast enough, so it's just running right through the combine, right up the back. So what's everybody doing for Christmas? You know, Christmas is coming up here. Got Christmas Eve tomorrow. So, so I got my Spotify going on in your background. So if you hear me randomly saying some stuff, just rambling on, probably sitting in here, listening to some Hank Williams Jr. That say something else. I meant to say, if I said something else, I meant to say beans. I know, I know what beans are. It's kind of, I just woke up not that long ago, so. Oh, I'm doing pretty good. Haven't really, I mean, had any um, special stuff going on here soon. Looks like everybody's got stuff going on. That's good. I want to help my dad on the farm. Nice. Going to his family the Monday stand up. My uncle's house. Going to the Chiefs game. Going to the Chiefs game? That sounds fun. Never been to a football game in my life before. That's one thing. Well, like an NFL football game. I've obviously been like high school football games and stuff. We're getting an actual like decent yield on the 106 bushels of the acre with soybeans. Jeez. <laughs> I didn't even do anything in this field either. This is the first year. Just harvesting it. One second, I gotta check my Discord. We've got a little. Explained your risk wrist in basketball, that is not good. I um actually last year I sprained my ankle really bad playing baseball. Sliding into um second base and it took a little while for it to heal. How's it going, Josh Bear? Really excited, yeah. I'd love to see like some somebody like the Chiefs play. I'd like to see the Dallas Cowboys play the most. Because I'm a Cowboys fan. Yeah, no, but I, I sprained my ankle last year really bad. Um, still actually having some of the effects of the sprained ankle this year. Actually, no, it wasn't last year's. It was at, well, this year's spring it happened, yeah. So it was like April. It felt like I broke it. I could not walk on it. Yeah, I can't wait for Christmas either. Going to be getting probably a new microphone. Um, hopefully. So you guys can actually hear me better. Just in what sports do I play? Um, 
I play mainly, it's just baseball mainly. I'm a big baseball dude. I love baseball. I'm, I, people have been telling me to get into football and stuff. I've had people come up to me and ask me to like literally play football for them, but. Bushels is by Thunder R, so if you go to Thunder, Thunder R is HIO, I would, I would get, I think you need to get two different things. I think it's like additional game info or something like that, and is unit convert mod. Yeah, but <laughs> actually my eye was a baseball related injury too. That's why I was kind of gone for a little bit there. Fractured my eye socket in two places, but we're all good. Still see. Thank the Lord. We're getting 112 bushels to the acre. This is like <coughs> unforeseen bushels right now. This is unforeseen yield. That's what I was trying to get at. I don't think there's ever been. Maybe like. A couple times, but I don't think there's ever been soybeans that have been harvested at 112 bushels to the acre. Like, you'd have to, like, that's, like, impossible. I don't even know how you'd get that. Especially in Wisconsin. Jesus. Go do some inside view here. It's getting kind of tricky up in here. Appreciate everybody for stopping in. If you're liking what you're seeing here, maybe you can consider subscribing if you aren't already. Leaving a like on the stream. Not needed, but you know. Always helps out the stream and all. We're almost to 1.6 thousand subscribers after being on a little break there. I. You gotta go? Alright, see you later, G's Box. Do I live on a farm? I don't live on a farm, actually. Surprisingly, I do not. I live in the country, though, so kind of got a good idea of how people do stuff. I've done a lot of research. It's not like, like, I'm just playing the game because I like it. I like going all American or nothing here. I can't stand not using American equipment. So... You stick it with something European, I'm gonna not be happy. Two more days till Christmas? Yep. How's it going, Levi? How's it going? I think I seen you in Happy Stream. I think I remember you. How's it going? Finally making the first headland pass around. This is actually not a 30 acre field, as realized. It's split up into two sections, so it looks like one section's like. 25 acres are a little bit smaller. Uh, the map is Stitzer, Wisconsin. We'll probably get the 95% make a little indent so we can have a grain cart come around and dump us. We'll get to like 96 or 97. I appreciate you stopping in. Supporting other creators, obviously. It's always nice to see people from other places. Alright, we're probably gonna have to drive all around the field to get over here. Alrighty. Stop the combine. Just tab over. Hmm. Let's try it. Stitzer's not gonna be fully released for another like month or two. Not even, I think like another like two months. There's still a lot that needs to be done with it. I'll show you guys map. If you guys wanna do a uh, map tour, I can probably throw out a poll and see if y'all wanna do a map tour. 
This map itself is beautiful. I love like there's so many farms on it. I, I think it's a really good map. I think it's gonna be a really good map for multiplayer. This isn't the Heaton County or like probably gonna be my two favorite maps once this one's actually fully finished. Pull up here. Let me see here. I can actually get something out. I don't know. I might have to be on my computer to do it. I think I, I do. I currently have my little phone set up here, reading the chat. Let me actually. Turn it to 360p because I don't need to be wasting speed. Yeah, I did run over some of the soybeans, but I'd rather take the shortcut than have to go all the way around. That'd be very annoying. How about we do a little bit of a map tour here, guys? Since we got nothing else to do. So, obviously, right off the bat, we come down here. This is my farm. This is where I have all my stuff at. Everything's down here. Um... On all this land up through here, this is all um, old silage corn. I need to get a ripper and plow it up. Do on that field right there. This is the field we're harvesting right now. It's a decent sized field. I guess it's really it's really not that big in real life. I mean, that's not that big. Might take a little bit though. Um, this is the co-op, or at least one of the co-ops. I don't know. I think there's only one co-op. Uh, this is a point I put down here. You're an Xbox player? You have the S. Gotcha. And this is some stuff over here. You got a fire department, which I thought was kind of interesting. It's just one of the barns that he kind of like did a little bit of retexturing to. Um, this is, this is the anhydrous place, fertilizer place. So you got all the anhydrous toolbars and all this fancy stuff, which is nice. Got some terraces and stuff through here. Or, I think that's called terraces. I'm not sure. Um, this is the custom agricultural place over here. So you got all the bins and stuff. I don't know if these function or not, though. I don't think they do. Maybe they do. I'm not sure. I haven't tired them out. But this is kind of cool for, like, a multiplayer type of, type of thing. But this is one of the cattle farms I really like here. I really like this barn. Um, this does not work, though. Most of the cattle farms do not work. So if you actually wanted to use this, you'd have to use an open pasture. So this is one of the nicer farms. You do have this barn here. I do kind of, I do like the barns he uses. They're very nice. Got that in there. I'll see what's actually in here. I've never actually looked inside this barn. Okay. It's like a little like feeding mechanism. Okay. What if he modeled this barn himself? Cause I've never seen this before. Got all this. Looks like this is like an old like hog. I want to say this looks like an old hog barn. Might be for calves or something. Um, looks like this is just like a regular little house here with a barn. And this is the map's main dairy. So this is like the big dairy the map is based off of. So this is here. Um, you don't have to use this. There's plenty of other farms on the map. There's plenty of other farms, trust me. And when I mean plenty, I mean plenty. Um, let's see if we can go find another farm here. I'm actually probably gonna forget some, not gonna lie. I hear some out here. So this is one of the smaller little dairy farms here. You kinda... Oh yeah, this is the one that's all the way back here. So actually, the farm itself starts out here on the main road here. You got a house off to your right. Turn left. You have this um, little setup here. Um, obviously, the shed looks to be not working at the moment. The there it looks like here, just like a little pasture area. Open up the barn here, see what's inside. Probably feed the cattle in there. If this is a cattle pasture, I'm not sure what it's supposed to be. Um, this is an old house. Not sure what he really put this here for. 
Not sure if there's supposed to be like two farmsteads here, like supposed to be a separate house. So it's supposed to be like a little road on down to like the other farm. Then you keep on going back here. Got the um, garage here. It's a nice garage. Um, you got a quan set, which is really nice. I really like this like fence here. You got like a little creek running along here. Probably needs to fix this fence, but I'm sure he'll fix everything. Still obviously a beta map, so a lot of stuff that's gonna be wrong with it. Um, this is the cow barn the guy here. Same one we have in our farm, except it's white. Stave silo here. I don't think the stave silo works. Um, and another shed here. It looks like there's an old like family graveyard here. Let's see what it says. Does it say anything in a raystone spot? It's a little graveyard. How many more days till Christmas? Like two, I think. Some two if you're counting tomorrow and today. How's it going, Lee? For stopping in. One second, guys. I'm gonna go grab something here. Just accidentally unplugging my controller. Grabbing a water bottle because I am very very thirsty. Do have a wireless remote, but I'm gonna have it hooked up to a wired connection because it is faster. It renders in a little bit faster, so or registers faster in game. It's going good. That's great. Just gonna drink my water here, guys. Sorry about this. Man's got a drink. I was dehydrated. Jeez. Alrighty. Um. Looks like there's another farm here. This is a corn crib, which I actually do believe works. Pretty sure the corn cribs work on this map. Let me go here and check. Yeah, it's crib corn. That's one of the things, eh? Look at this small house here. This is a very interesting small house. Very slim. Um, this is a nice shop here. I believe this is the one he used on, um, Ashton Gornish, too, for the arable farm. I do like it. Got this. I kind of wish I went with this farm, but then again, I don't, it obviously doesn't work. I was surprised the farm I picked had work. I thought it didn't work, so I actually had an open pasture there. The, um, there isn't an estimated release date. I think he said something about he was planning on releasing it before... Or, um, getting it done before Christmas, but obviously, you know, that's not, it's not, it will, I, I don't think it's anywhere really near being done. Because I think he took a little, like, two-week break. There's more farms out this way, I just remembered. Um, back here, right up this little road here. There are so many farms in this map, holy. Get this farm here. This is like the old house. This is a this is the old house from Medicine Creek from um, FS19. Remember that house every day. I really like that house. I mean, it still looks like it doesn't really look that good because of the um, well, old texturing on it, but still it looks nice. Nice old farmhouse. Um, that's where your garage is gonna be at. Obviously, you put all the vehicles in there. Put the wife's vehicles in there. One second, you guys. Gotta go to my stream here. Um, restricted. Trying to check something out here, guys. Turn that on.
There we go. Just had to do something there, guys. It's my bad. Anyways, um, this is one of the sheds here. I like birds. Get out of the shed, birds. You're gonna get shot. Wait, what? I didn't say that. <laughs> Actually, monetize now. Can't say that stuff. It's one of the sheds here. I think this is a custom shed. It's definitely a custom shed. Jeez. That's kind of cool. Definitely, I think, needs some work done to it. There's, there's no doors here. Maybe there isn't supposed to be doors. Not sure. And this, um... That's interesting. Oh! I just had a really large lag spike there. I don't know if you guys have seen that. Jeez, beats. You little, like, rock structures back here. This is, like, a very weird pasture. It's nice, but, like, old dead tree with one very long limb hanging out there. That's, that's interesting. See how he puts the realism in all these farms, though? It's crazy. I think this is one of the other farms I haven't even seen yet. Actually, no, I have seen this one. Got an old little farm there. This is um, a bigger farm. This is one of the larger dairies, as far as I'm aware. Looks like JMF's barn painted white. He added stuff to it, looks like. It's a nice farm, or a nice um, map. I mean, like, look at all the... So hilly, I mean... It, it genuinely reminds me of Wisconsin. Like, this is probably capturing Wisconsin at its best. Like, I think, honestly, this is probably, this is definitely, I would say, definitely already better than Westby. And I'm not gonna, Westby is a perfect map. There's nothing wrong with Westby, I'm just saying. I like this map a lot more, as far as it goes. How's it going, Suzette? And my eye is all right. I can see out of it, so it's the main thing. Um, this is like a nice little old farm back here. This is also a nice little farm back here. There's just so much like I, I can go over here. Like I don't I don't even know if I've already went over it. Genuinely. Maybe once this comes out, I'll probably end up doing like a multiplayer series on it with me and a couple of my buddies. Alright, let's get back to harvesting, because that's what we really need to get down here. Then do a bunch of stuff other than harvesting this stream. Yeah, I've been live. <laughs> I've indeed I've been live for like forty minutes, I think. Yeah, almost exactly 40 minutes. Probably not gonna do too long. I'm probably not even gonna finish this field on stream. I'd like to get it at least like halfway done. Tahitan came out yesterday. She's it. So if you go to DR Modding's HIO page, you can get Tahitan County there. There's a row crop version and a non row crop ready version. Your crop ready, if you don't know what it is, is like the, it makes your corn and stuff go in the rows, but it does take an impact on your performance. Came out, I think, yeah, it came out yesterday. Last night. Don't really care too much about it. Obviously, not gonna. I mean, I have I've had my Tahitian County Roleplay series going on for a little while. Might have to end that here soon and start up a different one on there because the, the save game I'm currently using for it is an outdated version of the map. So there's a lot of stuff that's not it, that's wrong with it because it's a beta tester version, and I can't update the versions of it really. I mean, I have the updated version of it, of the map. It just doesn't change anything on it. Like, there's no train on the version I'm using.
And one thing this map doesn't have is a train. Which, I mean, obviously it doesn't have a train in real life, so I mean, it makes sense, but... I don't know. Kind of be hard to get a train through here with all these hills and stuff. I would see why. 12 people watching? Yeah, we had, I think, like, up to 21 earlier, which is not bad since I haven't been around a lot recently. Definitely had a lot more. When I first did my first, like, two or three streams, I had, like, 30 people and, like, 25 constant. But I could care less. Just had to get some work done. And thought I would stream it. How's it going, Forge Farmer? Welcome to the stream. Getting some bean zone, getting 108 to the bushel up here. We'll probably get back to the same spot, and, or just before, probably the same spot, and we'll probably need to unload. This time, though, we'll actually be able to get the magnet back there without having to run over the soybeans. All right, thank you for stopping in there, Sam. Appreciate you coming in here. Supporting other creators. Hope you have yourself a nice Christmas. Doing great, that's great. Hope everybody's doing great since it's the holidays. We're gonna have a lot of Christmas releases coming up here soon for mods. We've already had a couple Christmas releases as it is. Some, um, I think there's a Ripper that came out already. Obviously, Deaton County is a, considered a Christmas release since it came out yesterday. Um, case there is Magnum that came out, which is the one conveniently that we have on this farm. The, uh, 215. Side view here. My internet is cooperating today. I haven't dropped a single frame. Surprising. Let's think about trading in this combine for a KSH like 2577 or 2588. Maybe a 2388, 2377. Because I believe they actually have more horsepower than this. This has 323. I believe you can get a decently sized. Yeah, Buck Square Body came out. I know. Um, and how I know. So it's right here. <laughs> I got Buck Square Body as uh, my personal truck here. Obviously, yeah, I know it's not a dually, but kind of going for a cheaper truck here. This is my truck, and we're acting like. The boss has the nice truck, which is the brand new 2023 Chevy Silverado. It's sitting at the farm. Back up here. Obviously going six mile an hour though. Harvesting is not really realistic, but. It'll be fine. I'm not gonna go super realistic here. We wanted to go super realistic here, where there's a lot of things that we'd have to consider. Imagine if the next farm sim was made off Unreal Engine. Oh gosh. That would be... Like, have, like, Mud Runner physics, or not Mud Runner, but, like, Snow Runner physics. That'd be crazy. Invest in a dually. I don't know if I will. Too poor to do that. Too cheap. I have to buy a whole entire new truck for that. And finding another square body in decent condition like my truck is in is going to be kind of hard, you know? Yeah. Enjoy to Heaton County, man. It's a great map. Definitely. In my opinion, it's the best map that came out. 
the farming simulator. But me myself, I have run dry of Tahiti. Because I have played it so much. Like the Tahiti County Road Play series I'm doing right now has 70 hours on it. So I've spent 70 hours on a single save game. And that's just that save game. I've spent a lot more on it, obviously. So I probably have a hundred, around 100 or more hours on Tahiti County itself. I actually have more than 100. Because I've had two save games that have exceeded um, 20 hours, I think. My first save game I ever did on Teton County had like 23 hours on it. Then I had to switch save games. But in my opinion, Teton County is the best one. People can people argue that like, oh, yeah, it's kind of bland because it's been sitting in Patreon for so long. And even though that it has, I personally think it's still the best map in Farming Simulator 22. Like, Westby, there's nothing on it. Um, Umar V has nothing on the map. Any other map you can think of. Midwest Horizon definitely doesn't have anything on it because it uses steel textures and stuff from, like, FS17, I think, or FS19, whenever it came out. I know it was an FS19, but I think it was originally from 17. Um... Yeah, it has nothing on it. It's just a beautiful map. Really. That's my opinion on it. I can't really think of any other map that it would really compare to. Really, the only other map I would play before Team County was UMRV, I think. I tried, I was gonna get into Ashton. Yeah, the day, are you talking about the day that it came out for FS22 or the day that it came out like the first time ever, like in FS17 when Grant had it? Like the first, the first day it came out for FS17, yeah, it was a revolutionary map because of the terrain and stuff on it. It was unseen and unheard of at the time terrain on it was crazy, and I do agree it does have some really nice terrain. I still think Humor V is such a great map. It's just... It's been played so much, I feel like, that people are kind of getting bored of it. Yeah, first time in FS17, I agree, yeah. Yeah, it was a revolutionary map. I don't remember getting fined in the town. What do you mean? Yeah, it's FS17. I mean, it was a revolutionary map. Kind of been wanting to go back to FS19 and take a little look back at like Medicine Creek and stuff. Some other maps on FS19. There's an Indiana map for FS19 that was pretty nice. I accidentally tabbed out right. So I was going to go check something. So, that's fun. Let's uh, stop that right about there. Get the tractor. Probably won't be able to fit everything. Oh, they were, it was a $500 fine? I didn't even know that. You see, I didn't start playing on PC till FS19, so I couldn't tell you anything about FS17. I've played Farming Simulator since 15, but I had it on um, Xbox before. I was, sadly, an Xbox user. Rip Emily. Nate William Jr. and George Jones. Yeah, this is a live stream. Oh, you. We're on Stitzer, Wisconsin. Happy. Getting some soybean work done in. This is actually the only soybean field we have to harvest right now. Then we gotta wait till next month to harvest all this. Yep. 
to pull around you so we can get it in the rear cart first. Oh, that was close. Too close. Go, oh, actually, load it again. Yeah, he's your next Xbox user. Where's your wrench? Oh, you you had the wrench, but you're using you're on your um you're on your RP channel, and you've never been in my stream before as a on your RP channel, only on your time last channel. So, only one of your channels had the wrench. There you go. You should have it now, though. Yo. Oh yeah, I got Alan Jackson pulling up near Neon Rainbow. Steel guitar. Yeah, you can't time him out. No timing out for Happy Farm. You cannot time out Tappy Tarms. The um, 215 Magnum. That's what I got. This is a W setup. Only thing I need to change is this John Deere Harvester. Nah, I'm just kidding. I do like the older SDS series. I got a soft spot for them. But I also really like the... Especially JCL series, his new Case IH Axle Flow series. Oh my gosh, those things are so nice. Oh geez, you Cooper's gonna get into it now. Start yapping at each other. <laughs> yeah, look at this Magnum. W mod. I'm not gonna answer your question. Possibly, if anybody wants another map tour that I did, just did, I can go over it again if anybody wants. Or happy, if you want a map tour sometime, I could probably give you one. I might actually could do like a YouTube video on it. I don't know. I don't really know how. I should have asked Simulation Station when he was in here how MRG wants his content on it. I don't really know if he really wants people doing videos on it or not. But I would love to start a series up on here. I think I might have to hit up MRG and ask him that. Because I don't want to really overstep my boundaries. I know he doesn't really care about live streams, but I'm not sure about actual like YouTube videos. Obviously giving the correct um stuff to him. Giving the correct fudge credits. And if you guys want this map, it's on um, Emergy's Patreon. It's a Patreon mod or Patreon um, for beta testers. It will be released publicly in the near future. Do I farm? I do not farm. Sadly, rip me. We have, I mean, we have like an apple orchard and um, cherry trees and stuff. We have a lot of apples, so. Think about it like Happy's Apple Orchard that he's doing, except on a little bit of a smaller scale. No. Thoughts on American farming? Um, it's a great game. I, I enjoy it. I haven't played it that much, but the, the times I have played it, it, it's been fun because, you know, I'll just be sitting there and be like, you know, I need something to do. But I'm not near my PC, and I'll just hop on American farming. And I'll start grinding. Fun game. Where am I from? I'm from the good old, actually not the good old state, the um, just the state of Illinois. What do you say? Good old. I don't like Illinois. No offense. And it's not not the state that I hate, not like the land. It's it's just algebra. Hard to get it, but but yep. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't think Apple Orchard, not gonna lie, Happy. I didn't think the Apple Orchard was a good idea either. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I didn't think the Apple Orchard was a good idea at all. I wasn't really finding it. Not, not, not to be mean or anything, but I wasn't really finding it that fun to watch. Just apples. Which is why I'm assuming 
near the end there, you started helping other people with a lot of work, so you can actually have real farming in your videos. Instead of just apples. Yeah, there's just not enough to do with... Uh, it, it, the game's not meant for apples. It's meant for... larger Marshall Farms like this. Yeah, we have an apple orchard in real life, but really we don't do anything. We just let the apples grow. Obviously, we go out, trim up the trees and stuff, but they just grow. We don't give them any water. Yeah, Happy, I think you need to trade out that John Deere combine for a new 2577 axle flow or 2588 for real, for real. Yeah, that's literally all you do. You just pick them up. Like, even in real life, like, you, you're doing more than you... You're doing more on farm some than you do in real life. All you do in real life is, like, trim them up. You don't give them water. Like, that's ridiculous. Like, they get water from rain. You don't need to give them water. You don't need to give them all water. I've never seen... They might do that. I'm sure they do that in some places, but most app orchards, you do not give them any water. You love which combine? The STS or the axle flows? Like the um the ones that JCL did. Or are you talking about this combine right here? Yeah, we don't own like a big apple orchard in real life, but you know, it's still big enough for me to know that. Really, the only thing you're going to be doing is most of, like really the big thing that's going to be doing on the farm is really picking the apples, and that's it. So yeah, let's take a look at JCL's. So if you haven't actually seen these, can they came out the other day? Bunch of um, it's an edited version of um, Pleasant Views series. It's all the series of Gleaners. And they're really nice. I really do like them. All the way up to the 91, I believe. Um, this is the start of it. This is 2344. This is 98 to 2002. I like the old fan on the back. Some good games. I like MLB The Show, 22. Not 22, 23. It's a fun game for, like, Xbox and stuff. It's like, I don't know. I like, I like ATS. ATS is also a fun one. Could do some ATS on that channel. Leave. This is a 2388. The Gleaners? I got you. Don't worry. You can only get a 2388. You can't get a 2377. Unfortunate. I know you can get a 2377 in this. 2377. Yeah, it's a 2588, 2577. Most horsepower. I thought, I swear these had more horsepower than this combine, but I guess not. Um, let me get those gleaners really quick. Or, I'll, I'll, I'll do it later after the stream. I believe they were, I want to say they were released in. They were definitely releasing a Discord. Well, I think it was the co-op. Not sure. Yeah. But happy, isn't this a STS series AW? The old STS series looks so good. Like I like the open spinning fan here. What is MXGP? Alrighty, happy. Thank you for stopping in. I appreciate it. I don't talk to you anytime soon. Have a great Christmas. I'm sure I'll probably be, or I'll probably end up talking to you, but.
What is... Yeah, what is MXGP? I have no idea what that is. It's only five bucks. I'm happy this video just dropped. That's something. Then post it in his Discord. I'll have to go through and add everyone. It's a motocross game. That makes sense. That sounds fun. Let's see what we got down here. Three headlands, and we got quite a bit of the field here. Still got a lot to go. It's a 25 foot head, so not that surprised. I could definitely stick a 30 foot on here. That'd be good. Oh, jeez. Another ping from Discord. Wonder what this could be. Also, obviously, I'm sure all of you know who Happy Farms is, but if you don't know who he is, go check him out. Daisy. The cleaner combines, or it was released on a Discord. They're probably be released, but they're on a Discord. I'll probably throw them up in Happy's um, Discord server. If anybody in the stream has a Discord and is in Happy's Discord server, it'll be in there. If you're not in Happy's Discord server, I think if you go to his channel, there might be um, a link in his info. Or if um, Emily, you want to grab that link and throw it in here. my Discord server, but not much is in there. I'm more active in Happy Discord server than mine. I still need to do a lot of developing on my Discord server. It's nowhere near being done. It looks terrible. Format. Might as well dump while I'm here. I dump on the back went back. Gravity wagon up there. We'll make it up there, I think. Some small time dairy farming. I think I'm actually gonna rent some more land because I really don't have that much to be honest with you. Like that's like nothing. need a lot of land for salad corn because we only got 70 head of cattle right now we got 70 heifers I think 75 heifers actually um, and the pen itself can hold 700 head so
No, this is not Westby. This is... Stitzer, Wisconsin. It's a lot like Westby. My shader settings, I currently are keeping... Currently keeping my shader streams... Or shader stuff private at the moment. Might end up releasing them in the future. I mean, they're not anything special, but... Took me a while to kind of get them done. Only... I think actually what I'm going to do is let me actually back up here. I know I just started harvesting that, but I think we're going to try and get this portion up here done. This map is so nice. Keep it over out. Ooh, and there's like I don't know. The train on it just is different. Fought to heat and head hills. Jeez. Obviously Wispy has more hills than like heat and all that, but this is I say this has more hills and well, that's Might be. I don't know. Kind of hard to compare them when you don't have both of them side by side. That guys getting a little quiet up in here. Might go on down to the farm in a little bit. I think I'm gonna go check and see the cows, how they're doing. I don't think I fed them today. Probably had food though. I gave them some silage. I do need to get some TMR mixed up. Need to buy a mixer first. <laughs> yeah, well, this is what farm sim is like. A lot of just nothing. This is how it is in real life. Just harvesting. If I had some music in the background, it had act, have some actual um background stuff going on, but you know, my lazy butt is still not figured out how to do that. Yeah, farm sim is fun though, but I mean, it's just a lot of nothing. I mean, I'm not saying that 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 mean that's how it is in real life. It's just it's not, not a lot goes on. Obviously, there's a lot more going on probably on a real farm than actual farm sim, actually, because you have freaking work on equipment every like five seconds. It feels like, depending on how you run your stuff. Some people don't, some people do, but I know a lot of the farmers I know are always working on equipment. Out. 
Got an 8020 series coming out here soon. Got a little stuff in here. Now this is an older model, so some of the stuff in here doesn't really look that great. The seats are a little bit wonky. Looks like just black mold in here. The seats. <laughs> Got our yield monitor, green, 110 plus the acre on soybeans. That is insane. I'll probably stream for another like half hour. Yeah, we're about an hour and 20 minutes in, or an hour 15 technically, closer. We'll get to like 140. Percent beep in there. Let's see what we got on sale. Ew. Interesting Ford. <laughs> Superior end dump. Two axles always better. Or like a three axle with uh, one lifted. Can't do more than three. I've never liked semis like that. Kind of figuring out what I want to buy, what more land I want to buy. Only done ten acres with this. So about one third of the amount of acres you've done. How's it going, sick Bert? How you doing? Oh jeez, get skater down here. Whew. Doing fairly good. Doing fairly good. Things are actually. But I'm asking. It's an asking. Get tired after talking for so long. That's one thing that kind of sucks when you don't have constant flow of just comments coming in. It's just. It's tiring. Sorry if there was any sounds going to the microphone here. So is anybody doing anything today? Anything fun?
There's the 80% ring a ding ding. Keep us awake now. Oh my gosh, harvesting that is gonna be a pain in my rear. And there's trees in the field. It's probably not good. Can't wait for the next version of Stitzer. It's gonna have CRP. Yeah, this is gonna be the last live stream before Christmas, and I'll plan on doing another one. So, yeah, thank you for the good Christmas wishes. I hope you have a good Christmas too. I'm planning on doing anything now. Can you farm some? Yep. Hoping to start a series in here. Could start up like a time lapse series. How would you guys feel about like doing like a half time lapse, half like role play sort of thing? Some videos being time lapse, some having like time lapses and role play. Because I can't really. All my video, I like to keep in all of the stuff that goes on, basically. So anything that, any work that happens, I like to time lapse and throw in with the role play. Jump over here. I'm actually gonna bring these soybeans into town for now since I don't have any bins to dump them in. Oh, the rocks. All right, let's get back out to the field here. Yeah, to get this done, this is some must need work. GPS is being goofy. Early Merry Christmas. Well, thank you. Have yourself a Merry Christmas, too. Got old Hank Williams going on here. It's an old song. I don't know where this is from. Maybe like 48. Maybe this is one of his last or his late songs made in like 1950. I tell you. So we got another this field. We got a fair bit done. If I, get, if I don't get it done on stream, I'll get the rest of it done off stream. I'll probably make a time lapse video on here.
Also, if you haven't already, make sure you check out the last video that I posted on the Heat to Heat County Roleplay, where we did some, um, spraying. I think we're actually gonna do some co-op work for them here, coming up here soon. So we're gonna actually be spraying some more in the next video. Just for some extra money, you know. It's always nice to get some extra money. A couple extra thousand dollars. Can't turn that down. So have any of you guys checked out Buck's Square Body series? If you have, well, how are you liking it? I know, I mean, it's a... I like it a lot. I haven't really heard anybody else talking about it too much, actually. I know people, or well, I have seen some talk about it, and I've heard people like it a lot. I have it on here, and I think it's a pretty good mod. It's pretty dirty. Not sure if the, or if Sid has his SCS, his new SCS series that he converted over. This is the old one that Dennis did. FS19. Not sure if, um, Sid's... Ah, he did. Just don't look right, in my opinion. This one looks more faded, that's why I like this one more. It has, like, faded on it. It's a fade. it's like a faded John Deere green. I don't know. I'm sure if I really wanted to, I could probably go into that mod and make it a faded John Deere green. Probably just have to look up a tutorial on it. How to change vehicle colors in Farming Simulator. Might need buy a 3D model. Uh, yeah, I might actually need a 3D model editor for that. I'm not sure. Shouldn't. What is this GPS doing? So bogus. Just I already had you in a straight line, buddy. Now it's like readjust yourself. That's quite annoying. Actually changed to my regular harvesting point of view here. 45. It's just boring after a while. 13 acres down out of the 30 we have here to harvest. I mean, it is a 25 foot head, not gonna lie. Well, I could throw a 30 on it, but I'm gonna do that because I don't even have a 30 foot trailer head. Or a 30 foot trailer. We're almost to an hour and 30. Eh?
I need to get out and do some viewer stuff. Alrighty, y'all. I might end up ending the stream here. Kind of having uh, not many people on here. I do two or three more passes. We'll end it here. So, what's everybody's favorite combine tractor, whatever brand? Kind of a ask question, but. Here's yourself a Merry Christmas too there, Jace. Thank you for stopping in. 80%. Clear out the pipe here. If I had auto drive working, I could have the guy run on the course, but eh. It's fine. Farmall and Alice. Yeah, those are two good brands. I do like both of them. Ninety-two percent. We'll just stop when we get to a hundred. How's it going, Sam? Welcome back. Still harvesting this field, as you can see. Fifteen, almost, or almost a fifteen out of the thirty acres here. Not. Er, 30 acres, including that field over there. That's a separate field, though. No sound. That's weird. I probably, I was tabbed out there for a minute, so if, if whenever I tab out, there's no sound. Try why. Just checking stuff on Discord. Track to here and we'll go dump it. Start. So, harvesting, listening to some Hank Williams. It's pretty good day, I'd say. Running over the extra soybeans. Only a 500 bush cart, small JM wagon here. Made by JCL somewhere in Ohio. Danger. Probably end up upgrading to a 750 in the future. We said the old colors for the 750, like the old, old colors. We might end up filling up this. Yeah, we're definitely going to end up filling up this. Um, oh, maybe not. Yeah, happy was in earlier, Sam. If you go up some more, you'll see the chats. Remember, I don't know if you'll see the chats from earlier in the stream. I'm sure how that works. We'll dump it. We're at 95%. There's no point in not dumping at this point. Thinking down this way. Go in the town down to the co-op and sell these soybeans.
Ignore the grain going right through the gravity wagon. That's totally normal. Happens every day, totally. Got a big old hole in the bottom. Someone scraped it, didn't fix the hole. It's fine, it still works. The old Chevy over there. The old two tone colors. Alright, let's get in the Magnum and head down to the co op. Turn on the hazards. 1300 bushels in the back here. Hopefully, we can get up and down the hills. We got really past. The only hill I'm, I was really worried about along the trip is that one down there. We ain't going down the hill again. That hill right there is going to be the only one I'm going to be concerned about, but I think we should be able to get up just fine since it's more of a prolonged hill. It's not like steep, steep. The other one. There's some extra ground here to till up a field. Might end up doing that. More soybean ground here. Yeah, I see you starting to bog down going up this field here. Uh, now, kick her and kicking her into the lower gears so we can climb up the hill. Come on now, you got it. Keep her hauling. Let's go here. Yeah, you missed him. There we go. It's alright though. There will be a time where he streams and another time you'll be able to see him. It's not like it's the end of the world. You'll end up seeing him again. The old gas station here. Town of Stitzer. Not much here, just a rural farming community. Now we gotta pull up to the way scale and get weighed here. There's an actually a scale here. Just gotta role play that there is. Pull forward here. And the cell point is over here. Favorite tractor has to be this tractor right here or the MX Magnum, but I really do like my MX Magnum. Jeez, that dryer is loud. Selling the soybeans. It's gonna be selling the back ones here too. I wonder if this button actually does anything. Some of these dryers and stuff actually have stuff you can do with them. We went up a whole like hundred thousand dollars from this load. I think I need to turn down my difficulty. No, 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 change it from easy. No, 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 no.
Ow. That hurt. She cracked my shoulder. Jesus, front. The Brent wagons take a while to unload. I mean, it's realistic, though. Can't open up the back window here. $64,000 from one load. That's a little bit wonky. Might be the prices on the map, or it's just because I was on uh, normal mode. I definitely need to change that up. I can't. I might end up going into the prices XML and change some of the stuff that's in there. Yeah, that's way too much. For only a thousand bushels. I don't think so, pal. Something's up with that. Yeah, that is a lot of money from one load of soybeans. Especially during the harvest season. There's going to be all types of farms in here. There's going to be... Actually, I don't think there's an arable farm on here. Yeah, I think the prices are messed up on here. They aren't really done. Just look at this. Prices are definitely not right on this map. Seventy-seven dollars to the bushel. I don't. on economic difficulty hard. Not sure if there's another mod I can get there where it's gonna where it could change that, but definitely kinda want that. Could place down my own cell point and that might fix it. Last of the swimmies we had in the green cart. Yeah, back to the combine. Let's get back to harvesting after that long little break there. Jeez. Oh, yeah, the co-op is definitely interesting on this map. Um a lot of buildings at it. Nothing wrong with that I guess, but make sure you check up on the cattle. We'll just go down here. Guys, all eating in here. It looks like we got some slurry made. We actually have 85 head. I thought we had 75. 
Your shit would actually be up in this pasture, yo. Obviously, it's not. Obviously, the pasture is not being used right now, or it's not in for the thing. And you also don't see any cattle up in here, which I mean, I guess it makes sense. It's just a milking parlor. This is where all the cattle technically would be. Yeah, moo, moo. Just fed them some um, silage. A little bit ago, so they're all eating that. Good chestnut. Base food. Not sure what base food is. A silage. Forage. Get some hay, definitely, but I'm not sure what. Look up. I'll need to look up how to do some uh, forage. Oh yeah, there's plenty of times I've gotten bored while playing Farms of 22. Like, just doing this a lot, it just, just gets repetitive, obviously, but, you know. You gotta think about the other things that's gonna happen, um, after. No, this is Stitcher, Wisconsin. It's a, um, Patreon mod. It's a, for beta testers, for MRG mapping. It's not gonna stay on Patreon once it's done. Map is actually done itself, it'll be released because there's still things in this map that do not work. Like, a lot of the farms do not work. Um, so, other things are also not really working. I'm sure, it's sure he has to redo the roads as far as simulation station said earlier. But it's a fun map. PC couldn't handle it anymore. Yeah, that sucks. Um. I mean, you can always upgrade your PC, like put some new parts in it, new GPU, definitely helps, new motherboard, more RAM, CPU, all that, so just save up money, man, I mean, that's all I gotta say. Yeah, I had her team came out, came out yesterday. I mean, I already had it, obviously, before I was doing my series on it for quite a while, but, yeah, everybody else was kind of in the, um, fuss about that. Need to get another video out on my OT series. Need to go record by today or tomorrow. Streams at an hour and 45 minutes. Thank you everybody that stopped in. If you haven't already, make sure you like the stream. If you haven't subscribed, make sure you subscribe to support the channel. We're almost to, I think, um, almost to 1,600 here. Kind of stopped my growth there for a little while, so. Been sitting at a good 1.5 here for a little bit. I have an RTX 3060. Crazy yields. When will this map be out? There isn't a planned release date yet. There's still a lot that needs to be done. Same with like Winter Heat and what what GPU do you have, Chestnut? I mean, RTX 3060 isn't new by any means. I wouldn't say that, but it's also not old. It's a decent GPU. I'm wanting to get an RTX 4060. Once I get some money saved up, possibly get get it from um, YouTube, or at least half of YouTube money. 
might be like a birthday present, possibly. How do I get bushels and acres to show up on my hood? Well, to get that to show up, you need to have Thunder R's unit convert mod. And you're also going to need Thunder R's additional game info mod. So if you go to his itch.io, both should be there. RX 6400, yeah, I, I don't, I think, if I remember right, that's not one of the, um, better, or, not better. It's not even a word. It's not one of the, um, better RX series cards. Yeah. Save up some money, you'll be able to get a RTX 3060s if you're wanting to go for something a little cheaper. RTX 3060s are like 200 bucks. Or uh, honestly, for the price of an RTX 3060, I would get a 4060. Forty sixties are worth it. I need a new card because mine is a one fan RTX 3060. You can't imagine how hot that thing gets running farm sim, ATS. Not really ATS, it's really just farm sim 5M running boat or running either of them. Gets it to about 70 degrees Celsius. Took a freaking egg on that thing. Make sure wagon on still here. I don't need it though. But I ended up buying like a side by side. And maybe with the money that we made here today, I'll probably end up buying a. A setup. Did you buy the extra RAM? So, so uh, like buying a pre-built with 32 gigabytes of RAM by only having a 6400 and a Ryzen 5 really doesn't make any sense. Yeah, I have five fans, so two fan. Well, I got water cooling for my CPU. I think I might end up changing where I have my so I can get some more airflow. I only have 16 gigabytes of RAM right now, but I actually the next upgrade I really should make is probably um, a different thing of RAM because the RAM I have now is slow. So I'm kind of looking for a 32 gig kit. Faster, like 3600 megahertz. I only have 2660. I got five fans, um, two fan um, water cooling for the CPU. Um, I got two in inflow fan or in two airflow fans pulling in air into the PC, and then the one out. It's probably just your GPU. Your GPU probably can handle it, yeah. You have an RX 6400, that's probably why. You probably don't have enough VRAM. Now, VRAM and RAM are two different things. VRAM, VRAM is in the GPU itself, so you can't change it. RAM is like the sticks of RAM. VRAM is inside the GPU, though. It's virtual RAM. And that's what processes all of the 3D models and stuff in your game. What processes all the equipment and all that. Like my um, GPU has 12 gigs of VRAM, which is a lot for a GPU. And I'm only using 5.5 gigabytes out of my 12 right now, but still, it's good to have that much. 
yeah, four. That would explain it then. If it's a four gigabyte part, then yeah, I'm not surprised. I used to have four gigabytes, and it, it was terrible. So that's probably your issue right there. When I get it, when you get a new GPU, which I suggest getting one soon, um, get something with eight gigabytes. I'd say eight gigabytes can run any game. I wouldn't say twelve gigabytes is needed. Twelve gigabytes is a little over the top. Eight gigabytes is probably um, the type of card you would want to get. Would be nice though to get a twelve gig card. I would like to. Maybe if I ever get enough money, get a 4070 12 gig. You're lagging earlier trying to build a farm? Gotcha. Yeah, 12 wouldn't be a bad idea, but really, I mean, I've never really used even up to 12. Really, you can run farm some base game without any mods off for it. It's just fine. It's just the mods. That are causing the stuff. I don't think a 4060 comes with a 12 gig version though. I think maybe the TI does, but regular 4060 doesn't come with 12 gigs. You can only get 8 gig options, I think. As far as I'm aware. A ping in a server. Thirty sixty, gotcha. Yeah, see that makes sense. Thirty sixty, yeah, you can get twelve gigs. Honestly, for the price of the forty sixties, I would go with the forty sixty because they're like three hundred bucks, which is cheap for a GPU. Man, I mean, it might seem like the thirty sixty runs is just fine, but trust me, there's a lot of times where this thing is struggling. Especially in like the Heaton County, cheese thing dies. Mainly because I have so much stuff on it. About two hours here. Probably in the stream here in a couple minutes. Yeah, I gotcha. Sorry, I'm checking something on Discord, yeah. You just have yourself a Merry Christmas too there, Pickaxe Simulator Gaming. I think we're stopping in, obviously. Appreciating all these um, Christmas wishes. Will tell me my heart get me. Um, yes, it probably will help you with recording, but a gigabyte card will be just fine for farm sim in recording too. You should be able to record and do farm sim just fine. Like right now, I'm only using 
5.5 gigabytes out of my 12 streaming and playing on a 4x map with high graphics with a lot of mods a thousand I think yeah my mods folder is bad don't don't I don't want to talk about it I was going through the other day getting rid of a lot of stuff a lot of the mods are just unused stuff so I'm going through and getting rid of a lot of it old mods stupid mods mods that I don't use shaders here. I turn off my shaders. The game looks like... Looks like that. Very bland. Very gray. Dark. Sad. Shaders definitely make the game look a lot better, in my opinion. Depending on like what you play on, some some maps will look better without shaders. Some don't. Depends. Just looks too gray for me. Mostly truck mods. We can go down for ages and ages. 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 More mods. A lot of mods. Mods galore. More mods. There we go. We're at the end. West White Workhorse. Anyways. Medicine Creek will be um, so somebody was actually converting it and they're making it into a 16x, but they sadly stopped converting it. AFB Mapping was doing it, but he got wrapped up with his college life and his actual life, which, you know, yeah, I mean, real life is more important than doing mods, so option, but. There is actually a leaked version of it, which is not good at all. So I don't think Medicine Creek is ever going to get converted properly and released. Now it has been converted properly, just has been released. No Creek, the people, the person that actually made it, he went dead silent for like three years. He actually came back a couple weeks ago on Facebook. So if you haven't actually checked him out, go check him out on Facebook, No Creek Modding. Person who made No Creek Farms and Medicine Creek, he's back making maps again. Making a Montana map. And I can't wait because the dude is insane at map building, so can't wait to see what he creates. How's it going, Kylie? Yeah, holy mods, Sam. I agree. Fifty percent, ding ding ding. Whenever you see time lapse and stuff, just think of this. Just me sitting here doing nothing for most of the time lapse. <laughs> Medicine Creek? Yeah, Medicine I love Medicine Creek. That was FS19 when I was playing that. That was the only map I played in FS19. It was Medicine Creek all the time. I mean, I did play Flint Hills a little bit as far as I remember, but Medicine Creek was just on a different level. Doing good, bailing straw. That's nice. Mailing straw in real life or farming simulator? I assume you're mean in farming simulator. Maybe in real life, huh? No. 
kind of want an Illinois map. Then again, Illinois is not really the best state. There's one out by Delta South or Delta South um, bonding group or whatever the heck it is, but Patreon stuff. So I'm paying for it. It doesn't release his mods. Farming simulator, gotcha. Yeah, that's why I need to get um, some pay done on this series. Good luck in your recording. See you later. Twenty-four likes, almost twenty-five. If you haven't already, make sure you hit that like button. We're almost twenty-five likes. See if we can get twenty-five likes by the end of the stream, which is by in like five minutes. Let's combine one more time, dump the grain cart, and we'll be off. Might go do some American Truck Simulator. Game's fine. Obviously, farming simulator, but I have a love for Mercury Truck Simulator and 5M. I love 5M a lot. Um, obviously, I can't really be in any of the larger roleplay servers because of my age. Most of them are 18 plus, but there's a server I'm in called Frontier RP, which is a great server. So, if any of you guys play 5M and would like to join a 5M server, um, join up some Frontier RP, search up Frontier RP on YouTube, and you can find the YouTube channel and a link to the server. If you want to get on some role plays, we do quite a bit, it's quite fun. And 5M, if you guys don't know what it is, is GTA 5, um, role play. And I do like ATS a lot too. I was doing a lot of ATS yesterday. We were trucking in the snow, me and a couple of my friends. Got Hubs, D Myers, and um, Kevin, or also known as Keaton Jones. If you see him out here on YouTube, that's who Kevin is. Keaton Jones, guys. So if you ever see see us calling someone Kevin in like happy stream or this stream it's probably gonna be Keaton Jones dude there's a lot of other games I do play but those are the two games the other, the other two games that are not farming simulator that I do like the most Save. 
think I know what the fuck you mean. Yeah. Right. Let's ask you, Sam. What's your favorite video game? Other than Farming Simulator. We hit 25 likes, everybody. Thank you guys for all liking the stream. We're at 26 now. Thank you, everybody. Appreciate everybody's support. About two hours and ten minutes here. I should pull up the wagons more. American farming. Nice. Gotcha. Those are all some decent games. I haven't played Call of Duty in a hot while. Um, one game I've been playing a lot recently is um, Enlisted. Um, a little bit. Not much, but it's like a it's a game made by the same people who did War Thunder, but it's like more land based. It's like act you can actually you lead a squad basically. It's World War II based. So that's kinda cool. Didn't think it was full. Alrighty, everybody. I think we're going to be ending the stream here today. I appreciate you guys all watching today's stream. Um, had fun. Got to interact with a lot of you guys. Hope you guys enjoyed. And I hopefully get some more videos out here soon. Hopefully get one out on Stitzer. I'll um, have to see about that. Hope you guys enjoyed. And I'll see you guys all next time. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you.